hey guys thanks so much for joining me for yet another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna be showing you how to make this sexy evening dress if you are new here be sure to like and subscribe for more video tutorials and let's get started for this project we're gonna be using a 4.5 millimeter hook and i left the details for the yarn i'm using in the description we we'll started by making a slip knot. So you just want to start off by making chains. I'm going to be making a chain of 10. This is just going to be a short demonstration for the type of stitch that we're going to be using. You can skip to the part where we make the dress if you are already familiar with this stitch. After you make your chains, chain one, and then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch. To do that, you want to go into the chain, pull up a loop, and pull through two. Go into the chain, pull up a loop, and pull through the two loops on your hook. So you're going to be repeating that until you get to the end of the chains. Next, you want to chain one and turn your work. Then we're going to be working half double crochets into each stitch. So to work a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook, pull through all three. Yarn over, go into the stitch, Pull up a loop, pull through all three. So repeat that until we get to the end. You just work a repeated row of half double crochets. Don't forget to work one half double crochet into the very last stitch so that uh, your work will be neat and straight. It's easy to miss that last stitch. Next, chain one, turn your work. And so now on the side facing you, you'll see these are V stitch. And also at the top, there's another V stitch. So on the side facing you, you're going to work into the bottom of the V-stitch. That's how we're going to be working our next row. So for each stitch, that bottom of the V-stitch, that's where you want to work your next row of half double crochets. And this is what gives us that uh, beautiful rimmed pattern that you're going to see once you start working on the dress. So again, we're going to work one half double crochet into the stitch I just showed you. So into each stitch, work one half double crochet. Once again, don't forget that very last stitch. It's kind of hard to see, but don't forget to work into that very last stitch so that you get a straight edge. So when you turn your work, you should already begin to see that pattern starting to form. It's a ribbed sort of pattern where there's some like valleys and lows and highs on the stitch. So 
We're just going to be repeating that for the whole of the dress. Okay, so this right here is like a miniature version of the dress. This is what you should be having after working all the rows for the dress from below the bust. The top is where we're going to put the bralettes. I've not attached them yet. I'll demonstrate that on another um, example. But this is what you should be having for the dress once we are done. Just a bigger version. <laughs> That's your size. Okay, so the widest part is the hips and then you're just going to be going down decreasing till uh, below the knees until the desired length that you'd like. So the upper part is from under the bust up until your high waist. So that one is just going to be a repeat row and then we're going to attach straps on the sides. So this is the first area that you're going to be working on. And it covers from below the bust up until your high waist. So you're supposed to make chains enough to go around below your bust and just leave enough space for the straps. And you're just going to be working repeat rows until you get to the desired length that covers from below your bust up until your high waist area. Next, we'll be adding these stitches so that it uh, the dress can go completely and cover the high waist area and then add stitches to make it wider at the hips then decrease stitches to make it narrower as we go down so i hope this illustration is kind of helpful we're going to join at the back once you're completely uh, done with the dress so all you need are the measurements shown on the left side so that we can get started So you can go ahead and start working on the top part from the bottom of the bust up until your high waist area since it's repeat rows. You're just going to start as I demonstrated in the while I was demonstrating the stitch and then work repeat rows until you get the coverage that you need. And then I'll join you guys when we're adding stitches on the sides. Okay, so let's assume this is what the upper part of the of your dress looks like up until the high waist. Uh, this is just my tiny demonstration and you can see it's kind of stretchy width wise and a little bit on the lengthwise side. So you can once you're done with that, the next thing we want to do is finish off the yarn. So going by your high waist measurements, we're going to add an equal number of chains on either side that is enough to go around your high waist area and cover it completely. So I will just add a chain of five on either side and to attach, you just want to pull the yarn through the last stitch and then work a chain. So then you're going to work a chain of five or however many you require to go around your waist on one side. Just make sure the number of chains are equal on both sides. Then you want to finish off. So onto the other side, you're going to do the exact same thing. Attach your yarn to the last stitch.
and work an equal number of chains as the other side so i did five so i'm also going to work five on this side however many you did just make sure you work an equal number on either side so now we're just going to turn our chain one first and then turn your work and then you're just going to work a half double crochet into each stitch all the way until the end So once you're back here, remember you're working only into the bottom of that V stitch. So don't forget to maintain the same pattern. Once you get to the end, chain one, turn your work and you're just going to work into each stitch, one half double crochet using the same pattern. Okay, so now we want to add stitches so that we can make increases wide enough to cover uh, the hip area. So make sure you have your hip measurements. So to work an increase, you want to yarn over, go into the first stitch and make a half double crochet. Again, yarn over into the same stitch, work a half double crochet. I like to make my increases at the sides because the joining is also going to be at the side, so it's not going to be as visible, but you can also make your increases in between the stitches along the rows that you're working. So go ahead and work one stitch into each of the remaining stitches until we get to the end. So in the video in the description, I'll explain in detail how to know how many stitches you can add for each row depending on the measurements. I won't go into much detail about that in this particular video. So once I get to the last stitch, I'm also going to make an increase that's working two half double crochets into the same stitch.
So the next row I made was a repeat row, meaning I didn't make any increases. I just worked one half double crochet into each stitch. And I went on with this pattern of increase, repeat, until I got to the desired length of the hip and also the desired width of the hip. So in order to make decreases, yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over again and go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, now you have five, you want to pull through all five. So that's how you make your decrease and then work one stitch into all the other stitches stitches in between until you get to the last st two stitches where you're going to make another decrease so when you're remaining with two stitches you're going to do the same thing we did at the beginning and make a decrease then chain one turn your work so this is the pattern you're going to be using to make your increases and decreases depending on the measurements that you have and so this is like what it should look like wider at the hips it goes wider as you go towards the hips and then it go it narrows as you go down to be towards below the knees and that's basically all of uh, all of that concerning how to make the bottom part of the dress you can make it as long as you want just make sure you follow the measurement so that it's a bodycon dress and now we're going to add the bust part which are the bralettes okay so for this part we're going to be using stitch markers to mark the points where we're going to attach the bra caps to the top of the dress and i'm going to be demonstrating using this strand that i made it's just uh, a few rows two rows i guess of double of half double crochet and it represents the top part where the under bust area is that's where we're going to be attaching our bra cap so we're going to be using the stitch markers to mark the points where we're going to attach the bra cap so that it's all even. So you can fold or count stitches to make sure you get to the center, you get the right center of the dress and then I'm going to put stitch markers but I'm going to leave two stitches in between the stitch markers for the center so that the V is kind of like a U shape rather than a very straight V at the bottom of the bra cups. So leave two stitches and then I attach my next stitch marker so that's what you should have at the center make sure you have two stitches two stitches two stitch space in between and then i'm going to count 22 stitches from one stitch marker until the next stitch marker and that's how big my bra cap is going to be if you i'm a small i have a small bust so if you have a bigger bust 
you just need to measure how how many stitches are enough to cover your bust from the bottom part of your bust so repeat the same thing on the other side as well make sure you have an equal number of stitches Next, we want to attach the yarn to where the stitch marker is. So you're going to pull your yarn through and then attach it and then work one half double crochet into the same stitch. Next, you want to work one half double crochet into each of the next stitches. So once we get to the end, which is the, like the center of the dress, we're going to make a decrease for the row two. So the first stitch, we're going to make a decrease. Then pull through all five. And then work one half double crochet into the remaining stitches until the end. So when the, at the end, chain one turn. This time we're going to start with one half double crochet all the way until we get, we are left with two stitches and then we make a decrease at the other end. So into in the on the next row we are going to work a repeat meaning we are not going to make any decrease for this row. So the next three rows will be a repeat of row 2, 3 and 4. So for row 8, we're going to make, we're going to start with a decrease. Then work one stitch into each of the remaining stitches, one, one half double crochet into each of the remaining stitches.
So for row 9, we also start with a decrease. So now we want both sides to decrease as we go up. So on this side also we start making our decreases. Once you make your decrease, work one half double crochet into each of the remaining stitches. So the next row is going to be a repeat row. So we're not making any decreases in the in row 10. The next three rows will be doing the same thing we did for row 8, 9 and 10. So for the next row, row 14, you want to start with a decrease. Work one stitch into each of the next stitches and then for the last two stitches you make another decrease. Row 15, you're going to work it the same way we worked row 14. Make a decrease at the beginning and also end with a decrease. Row 16, you're going to work a repeat row, which means you don't make any decreases you just work one half double crochet into each stitch and this is the pattern you're going to repeat row 14 and 15 and 16 is what you're going to repeat until you get to the end so this is what you should be having when you're done And for the top, for the straps, you can choose any design, but I just made a simple chain for the top, for the straps for the top of the bra cup that could be tied uh, behind my neck. So you're just going to make another bra cup on the other side, and that's basically it. You can add bra straps to the back of the dress and join at the back with whichever stitch you prefer and that's the end of the video tutorial thank you so much for joining you guys bye bye